In today's world of market volatility and uncertainty, your retirement plans need to be front and center. With ever-changing tax laws, healthcare worries, and an unpredictable stock market, don't overlook the vulnerability in your retirement planning. Protecting your family and estate will be difficult with shifting policies in Washington. It's more important than ever to keep an eye on retirement. Hi, and welcome into Eye on Retirement, the weekly show that keeps you in the know about all things retirement. I'm your host and financial advisor with Market Advisory Group, Rick Everett, along with a full complement of panelists to include founding partner and financial advisor with Market Advisory Group, Danny Goolsby, our lead CPA with Market Tax Services, Joshua Sikora, health insurance expert with Market Medicare Advisors, Mark Benefiel, and our lead estate planning attorney with Eidelman Law Firm, <laughs> Gerald Eidelman. Welcome in, everyone. For those of you that are joining us for the first time, welcome in. And for those of you that are regular viewers, welcome back. Danny, what do you have for us for today's episode? Well, today I want to talk about lessons learned from retirees about things that they have the biggest regrets for uh, in their post-work lives, if you will. Thousands of, Amer of Americans retire every day short on cash, they short on friendships and short on plans or routines. You know, many retirees when they're pre-retirees, they have a routine, what they do in their, their, their normal business, or excuse me, the work, li work life like. They go to work, they do something on the weekend, they may travel one to two times a year, uh, go see friends or family or what have you. You have a routine when you're working, but do you have a routine when you're retired? What, what's that like? Many retirees say that they realize too late how they could have prepared more for a financial, more secure uh, retirement but they also need to work on that post-work life. What are the different things that they can do from a monetary sense, but also from a monetary sense, what are other things that they can do? They will, what most people would like to have focused more on saving more money to cover the higher cost of living, or they want to put more time into building the, how they save, namely between traditional retirement accounts like a 401k or an IRA, more using maybe Roth accounts or post-tax oh, or tax-free accounts. So what does retirement look like? One reason re why retirement is so hard to prepare for is that we often have often lack to have that model to who to emulate. We don't know who to look at. Yes, a lot of times in life when we are young and we're still in our household living with our parents, maybe growing up, we emulate our parents because they are our role models at that time. But when you get into the work career and you're, and you're working do you have someone to emulate to tell you how to forge your work life like? We wanted to sharpen that picture. We want to talk about how retirees, about what they would have done differently if they would have given a second chance. The regrets offer insights that can help people plan for life at every single stage of, and specifically retirement. So the first regret that we want to talk about today is what kind of advice should I be getting? Investing for retirement means more than just investing money. You know, we talk about trying to be diversified in our investments and investments don't have all of our eggs in one basket, so to speak. But that, that spills over into different kinds of diversity as well, whether that's tax diversity, whether that's uh, in, in our routine at work. Are we just going to be a hermit and stay home and watch TV? Some people, all they want to do is play, play golf. They may be big golfers and play golf just day in and day out, day in and day out. Well, I'm here to tell you there's only so much golf you can play. You need to have something that is a passion to keep you to that next stage of your life. The way that you've saved in retirement, though, let's talk about that for just a moment. You want to make sure that you protect the money that you've, you've saved, and you want to protect that from investment losses, but we also want to talk about that, protecting it from the tax man and tax liability. Joshua Sikora, our lead CPA with Market Tax Services Retirement. You know, unless you're a professional athlete, most people only retire one time. So as Danny was saying, it's, it's hard to navigate when you're in uncharted waters. So from a tax perspective, what are some of the regrets you see from retirees? Yeah, Rick. So, you know, meeting with people, regrets, we've heard a few, right? And a lot of times what people talk about is after visiting with us a little bit, they wish they could have gone back in time and, and done things differently. Sometimes that looks like 
They've come in the door with all these uh, accounts that they've saved in over the years that have never touched taxes. And so they're looking that uh, here in the near future, they're going to have a big tax bill coming. And they wish they could have talked to somebody to talk about how to unwind those accounts. Not that they don't want the money invested anymore, but they'd like to have it done in a fashion where taxes won't be a consequence anymore. And so they'll, you know, we'll, we'll talk about how to do that, how to move it from a, a fully taxable traditional IRA to a not taxable Roth IRA. And, and we'll kind of talk through how that's going to work. And, and they'll say, well, why hasn't someone talked to me about this years in the past? Had I known about this, you know, 20 years ago, I would have done something different. I would have started going through this process so that I could have done it in smaller bites. But now, you know, whatever's going to happen in the next, you know, five years or three years, depending on, on who we're talking to. And now we're going to have to take bigger tax bites to do that. I wish someone would have told me 20 years ago how to do this differently. Sometimes we'll meet with people and we'll, they'll, they'll be frustrated how much do they have to pay in taxes. And so I'll, I'll look through the return and I'll point out places where how they are invested in accounts that aren't necessarily retirement oriented are costing them a lot in taxes. And we'll start to talk about different ways on how to handle those investments so they aren't generating those big amounts of taxes. And they'll say, well, why didn't, my, why didn't my advisor, why didn't my tax person talk to me about this years ago? I've been paying this level of taxes on, you know, on this account for the last 20 years. And I don't know that my account balance really reflects the, the costs I've had to pay out in taxes and in, in additional growth. And, and so as we kind of talk about the consequences of, of what they have going on and if there's a, a better, more tax advantaged way to do that, they'll really have some regrets that they've never explored this further. Uh, sometimes we'll talk about how to, to be saving money even though that they're approaching retirement and how to do that in ways that don't ta cause tax consequences. Um, for themselves, for their their beneficiaries, and uh, how to to mitigate those those tax issues. Uh, sometimes people are by the time they're retiring, they're jumping right off into having to pull money out of the nest egg. Not necessarily because they want to be pulling money out of the nest egg, but their Uncle Sam has reached a point where they're not going to give them that that <laughs> tax loan anymore, right? And so they'll want to talk about. How, you know, now that I've got to do this, how can I start to not pay a bunch of taxes? And so we'll we'll start putting plans together where we can take the things that they're doing and do them a little bit differently so that they don't have to have this big tax issue they're having to deal with. It's not necessarily changing their behaviors, but they'll say, well, why has anybody ever talked to me about how these, these tax rules are applied to these different accounts? Had I known this... I would have done something a little bit differently. And by the time they're they're fully retired, the the ships, you know, ways down the the road to mix the metaphors a little bit. <laughs> and uh, the, we can only, you know, do with what we've got, but better to do something today wishing you could have done it before than to do it 5 years from now wishing you did it today. You know, Danny used to say when is the best time to plant an apple tree, Johnny Appleseed, you know, the best time to plant an apple tree 10 years ago, mm. next best time to plant an apple tree today. today. And when I'm hearing regrets as a financial advisor from people, you keyed in on a lot of them. One of them was about Roths. I hear yep. that constantly. I wish I would have known this sooner or I wish I would have paid more attention to this. <laughs> The other regret I hear a lot as a financial advisor is, I wish I would have come to you guys years mm -hmm. ago. Mm -hmm. Danny, um, we're going to continue the regrets as we get into the second segment, but we do have to take a quick break here. What kind of advice are you getting? Is it splintered and hyper-focused? Or are your retirement advisors, presuming you have a team, are they working together so nothing gets overlooked? The team approach is exactly what we do at Market Advisory Group. We bring the whole team together for you. And if you'd like to set up a complimentary no obligation consultation, our operators are standing by right now to take your call at 316-252-8707. And be sure and check out our website at ionretirement.com. 
We'll be back with more Eye on Retirement, and it comes your way right after this. Out on the water, there is a moment. Perfect synchronization. The team working together in harmony to reach their goal. Now, imagine finding a team of financial professionals to help run your course down the river of retirement. Market Advisory Group is that team. Financial advisors, tax professionals, estate planning attorneys, and Medicare advisors. All in the same boat. If you don't have a team like this in one place, it can become a hassle to relay information between them. When you come to Market Advisory Group, we bring everyone together for you. To get you answers in real time. To help make sure you don't miss something that puts your unique plan off course. You shouldn't be the one doing all the work to keep your retirement on pace. You should have a team in the boat with you. Your voice telling them where you're at, where you'd like to end up, and how you want to get there. And at that point, everyone falls into sync, all pulling in the same direction, toward the same purpose. Your retirement's financial security. We are Market Advisory Group. Proud sponsor of Shocker Rowing. Hi, and welcome back into the show. It's called Eye on Retirement. And in this episode, we're visiting with financial advisor Danny Goolsby with Market Advisory Group. In the prior segment, we talked about some of the regrets that retirees or those approaching retirement have shared. Danny, let's continue along that theme, if you will. So in the prior segment, we highlighted a, a, the advice that people may have wanted to have gotten but didn't take. Going forward, let's talk about in this segment, I want to talk about where did they get the advice from. So in your, in your life, you'll have different relationships with your forge, whether that's with work relationships, whether that's with uh, relatives that you're, that you're really close to or you stay close to, maybe friends that you around the block, wherever you live, Maybe you have those kinds of relationships that are really important too. But it's going to be the relationships that help you guide yourself through the financial waters and the things that come up during retirement. So many times we hear as a firm, we hear, well, I don't know what questions to ask. I, don't, I, I wouldn't know it if, I, if it hit me. And so we want to make sure that the relationships that people, instead of having those regrets that they didn't ask the right people, didn't have the questions that they knew to ask, that they have the opportunity to talk with people that know that they've been there before. They've been around the block. They know, hey, you're going to say this. You're going to ask that. This is coming down the road at you. You want to make sure that you, you avoid this. It's, it's the different kind of collaborative approach that we, we uh, do here at, at Market Advisory Group with the different professionals that help our clients with their relationship and their, the advice that goes with, their, with those uh, type of decisions that they need to make. Everyone has their own thumbprint. I have two older sisters. And, and yet my sisters and I, we were really close, all three of us from the same two parents. We were born in the same household. We were reared in the same, reared with the same influences that, that affected us as we grew. But yet my sisters have two different person, two different thumbprints than I do. And so our thumbprints are unique to us. Our, our decisions, what affects us in our retirement life is going to be unique to you. It's not a one size fits all, but you want to make sure that the advice you're getting is pertinent to you. And you've touched on something very key there because every retirement plan that we put together, whether it's the estate planning, Medicare advising, tax advice, or financial, it's different for everyone because everyone's situation is unique. What works for me might not That's work right. for you. That is right. Danny, one of the places I see that happen a lot uh, as we're visiting with people is in the field of Medicare and the choices that need to be made there. Mark Benefiel, you're, you lead the Medicare team at Market Medicare Advisors. 
Um, if you could share with us, do you find that your clients run into problems with where they get their advice from? And, and because I'm sure with Medicare, they're sitting at coffee at McDonald's or wherever in the morning and they're getting five different people telling them five different routes that they should go for Medicare. Absolutely. You know, I like to call it the uh, Betty and Chuck factor. You know, Betty from the Junior League or Chuck from the Donut Shop. Right. Well-meaning. Um, want to help, but often have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. And what that does, does is it leads to um, a lot of phone calls to my office of people that are scared because they, they perhaps they were in our office, got the correct advice. Let's say, for example, um, they decided they were going to work until they were 67 and they worked for one of our local employers and had a, a very good health care plan, which they decided to continue. Betty has told, um, you know, the, the beneficiary, you know, 10 times, if she doesn't go sign up for Part B, she's going to be penalized. It's going to, it's going to last for the rest of her life. And I get this frantic phone call about, oh, my God, what's going to happen? And then I have to re-explain that um, Betty's not aware of the special enrollment periods and how they apply to people that continue to work after 65. Um, you have to be very careful where you get your advice. There are a lot of well-meaning people out there, but unfortunately, um, they don't spend a lot of time training. They don't spend a lot of time um, researching. Um, myself and our team spent the entire week last week at a uh, Medicare conference, learning about all the things that are changing, that are new and are going to be happening. Um, I'm guessing that um, Betty and Chuck did not, I, I didn't see them in the room. You know, they're, and they may have been in the back. There was a thousand people there, but I don't remember seeing them um, at the time. And so not, not to, you know, to, to put them down, but um, my advice would be to, um, if you want to make sure you're getting uh, the best possible advice, get together with a trained advisor who is going to look at your unique situation, just like um, on the financial side. There's a lot of things that are similar, but there's also a lot of things that are unique. Your age, your health care, the medications you take, um, the, uh, what your past experience has been, family history, um, all those things take into consideration on what the best plan and the best direction from you. And um, while I, I love Betty and Chuck, and they're probably our clients too, right? Uh, but unfortunately, they don't understand that the unique needs of what may have taken, you know, course 20 years ago, just like on the financial side, does affect what happens today. And um, you just have to be very, very careful where you get your advice and make sure that you're getting it from a trained professional, whether it's with us, um, which we would love it to be, but someone who spends time and has your best interest at heart. So you're saying when I see that Medicare commercial on TV with that famous athlete, his, I think his first name is Joe. Sure. And Joe knows all about me and knows exactly which Medicare plan I need. Mm -hmm. always, always understand that at the bottom, on the very, very bottom of that uh, scroll is an asterisk and very little letters that basically says that this, this is a unique experience, does not apply to all beneficiaries, and you should seek you know, advice from a trained professional. Mm -hmm. um, they, don't, uh, they don't highlight that, but that's at the bottom. Yes, sir. Um, and uh, you should take that to heart and put your readers on and check that out, right? <laughs> because um, it's there for a reason. And uh, Joe is good at some things. He was good uh, for one season back in 1972 or whatever it was. 69. Um, unfortunately, um, he does not have a lot of training in the Medicare world. Yes. You know, a lot of life problems can be helped by getting advice from a friendly voice who's been there before. A bad breakup, a career dilemma, or even what kind of cell phone to buy. But when it comes to retirement, it's not a one-size-fits-all. It helps to talk to specialists that can guide you on your specific journey. At Market Advisory Group, we have that team of specialists that can help you find the right answers for your situation. To set up a complimentary no-obligation visit with us, give us a call, 316-252-8707. And be sure and check out our website at ionretirement.com. The final segment of this show comes your way right after this. How confident are you in your current financial plan? Do you know with certainty how the recent market volatility will affect your future hopes and dreams? How much are you paying in taxes? And how much are you losing to unnecessary high fees? You didn't work to save this money so that you could spend your time worried in retirement. Now is the time to take charge of your finances so you can feel confident about your future. Call in during the next 30 minutes of today's show only to set up an absolutely complimentary, no obligation, full-blown financial review that will result in your own customized written plan. We'll start with a full-blown analysis of what you already have. 
by running a report to untangle how much you are currently paying in fees, how you're allocated for risk, and what it's costing to work with your current advisor. Next, we'll identify your goals. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where do you want to go, and who do you hope to go there with? Is your current financial plan set up to get you there without mishap? Let's design a roadmap to create a financial plan you can follow with confidence. Get the piece that so many people are missing from their retirement. Find out how having a written plan can make a difference to your retirement dreams. Call now to schedule your complimentary, no-obligation, full-blown financial review today. I need a place to go to see about my investments. Ask my friends if they know about holistic retirement. Everything in one place. Estates, taxes, and Medicare. People meeting face to face. Advisors to help me get there. At Market Advisory Group. Retirement under one roof. At Market Advisory Group. We're invested in you. Welcome back into this week's episode about Ion Retirement, where we've been visiting with financial advisor Danny Goolsby about some of the regrets that retirees face as they're coming to visit with us, pieces of the puzzle that we're missing, pieces of advice that they wish they had heard earlier. We've covered taxes, we've covered Medicare, we've covered the financial pieces. There's one piece missing, and that would be the estate planning. And for that, we turn to Gerald Eidelman with Eidelman Law Firm. Gerald, what type of regrets do you hear from people in estate planning? Yeah, one of the biggest regrets that people have is not having planned for long-term care. This is something that comes upon them, and you know, there's no way to determine when it's gonna happen. And once you're there, then your options about saving your assets and preparing for passing your wealth to your children or your heirs becomes much more limited and rigid. And, you know, that's one of the things that we, we can intervene at the last minute, but it never looks pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's one of the biggest regrets I think I hear from people. And people should be aware that Long-term care is something that can happen to, it's supposed to happen to at least 50% of people over 65, at least for a period of time. So your likelihood of having a long-term care event is pretty high. I mean, I have people saying to me, well, I'm healthy, I'm gonna die in my bed. I'm like, well, are you really? Uh, so not preparing for that circumstances makes it uh, extremely dangerous because you can lose everything and leave nothing to your kids. What we do is, if we have enough time to prepare, if we do this within five years prior to you needing long-term care, we can safeguard your property, especially your home if it's paid for, your uh, accounts if they can be transferred into non retirement accounts, and we can cocoon that money in such a way that when you do need long-term care, that money won't be in jeopardy. But you have to start early enough. Waiting to the last minute is not gonna make it happen. So I like to, and there's other situations. I mean, we have a lot of regrets from children of parents who haven't done their estate plan. And now the children have to take care of their parents and need to be able to act as power of attorney, handle their finances. And the parents did none of that in preparation for their eventual uh, aging. And so now these children are being forced to go to court hire lawyers, uh, spend a lot of money trying to write the card so they can take care of their parents, whether it be about their finances, their health, uh, their end of life uh, wishes. So not allowing um, for the preparation for these things can create tremendous stresses in the family, in the finances, and the future of your children. And so we want to encourage people to come in. I had an 82-year-old gentleman come in and talk to me about planning, and he was very comfortable with taking his time because he had seen some people in his family to have a lot of longevity. But at 82, it may be time to hurry up a little bit. It may not be time to sit back 
and hope that you live 105 years. Uh, you have to be conscious of the fact that anything can happen at any time. Our health, we are fragile individuals, we're fragile people, and anything can change. So not preparing in time is gonna create a trouble for everybody. If you don't prepare a plan to transfer your assets, your kids are gonna wind up in court spending tens of thousands of dollars in attorney fees trying to get whatever you intended to leave to them. So that's money that's gonna go out the window that you're not passing to your kids. So it's of paramount importance that you, whatever you're at in your retirement place, it's never too early and it's never too late as long as you catch it before an event happens that is going to disrupt everything in your life and after uh, in terms of passing your assets to your kids. Thank you very much, very much. There's a lot to consider when we put these plans together. And just like estate planning, you shouldn't put off planning for retirement until the last minute. The further into the future you plan, the more options you have at your disposal. And vice versa, the less time you have to make a decision, the fewer options you have to deal with for the crisis in front of you. Market Advisory Group, will give you as many tools to plan for retirement as, as possible. And to set up a visit with our team, reach out right now. The number to call, 316-252-8707. That's all the time we have for this episode. I'm Rick Everett along with the entire panel, reminding you that we're here to keep an eye on retirement. Unless otherwise indicated, all client and prospect names mentioned on this show have been changed to protect the identities of the individuals discussed. Investment advisory services are offered through Foundations Investment Advisors, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisor. The content provided is intended for informational and educational purposes only. The views, statements, and opinions expressed herein are those of the individual speakers and not necessarily those of Foundations and its affiliates. The information contained herein does not constitute an offer to sell any securities or represent an express or implied opinion or endorsement of any specific investment opportunity, offering, or issuer. Any discussion of performance or returns are not indicative of future results. Each individual investor situation is different and any ideas provided may not be appropriate for your particular circumstances. Foundations only transacts business in the states where it is registered or excluded or exempt from registration requirements. Registration as an investment advisor is not an endorsement of the firm by security regulators and does not mean the advisor has achieved a specific level of skill or ability. No legal or tax advice is provided. Always consult with a tax professional. Legal services are offered by Eidelman Law Firm. Tax services offered by Market Tax Services. Market Advisory Group does not provide legal or tax advice. Any comments regarding safe and secure investments and guaranteed income streams refer only to fixed insurance products. They do not in any way refer to investment advisory products. Rates and guarantees provided by insurance products and annuities are subject to the financial strength of the issuing insurance company, not guaranteed by any bank or the FDIC. The guest commentators featured in this show are not investment advisor representatives of foundations and do not provide advisory services. Market Advisory Group does have several investment advisor representatives that can provide such services. This is not endorsed or affiliated with any U.S. government agency, the Social Security Administration, or associated with any federal Medicare program. We do not offer every plan available in your area. Any information we provide is limited to those plans we do offer in your area. Please contact Medicare.gov or 1-800-MEDICARE to get information on all of your options. A Roth conversion may not be suitable for your situation. The primary goal in converting retirement assets into a Roth IRA is to reduce the future tax liability on the distributions you take in retirement or on the distributions of your beneficiaries. The information provided is to help you determine whether or not a Roth IRA conversion may be appropriate for your particular circumstances. Please review your retirement savings, tax, and legacy planning strategies with your legal slash tax advisor to be sure a Roth IRA conversion fits into your planning strategies. All rights reserved.